Today, we are checking out a free granular VST effect that works for both Windows and Mac called Grain Strain. It is created by Full Bucket Music. It's for Windows and Mac, like I said, VST plugin that works in all DAWs, yada, yada, yada. You know the vibes. Come on, guys. We do this all the time. And yeah, I'm gonna win with my hot takes. The link will be in the description box. I will have a how to install videos in the description as well. So if you don't know how to install VST plugins at this moment, well, you'll learn here. Yeah, let's go ahead and begin. Trabtendo. So here is grain strain is opened up inside of the MPC software, meaning that it can work in any DAW. So yeah, let's go ahead and hear the sample track without grain strain on. All right, now that we have taken a listen to the track, what I'm gonna do is solo this part, which is the sample. Then I'm gonna pull up grain strain again, and then I'm gonna make sure that it stays on the screen. So let's go ahead and hear it now. It is not on right now, but I will turn it on right about now, hitting this on button. As you can hear, it's not very, as you can hear, it's not very appealing. And yeah, we'll, we'll start to get into it because it does get better than this. So uh, messing with this parameter right here, uh, right now it is in milliseconds mode. So when I play this over the sample track, so that's what, the, that's what we have. I have it at, 370 milliseconds, 0.7 milliseconds. And if I slow it, it will break up in grain. Now, though it isn't very musical right now, uh, I will say this. Um, playing with other samples and chops that I had, uh, when I put grain strain on it, it gave me different ideas like weirdo stuff. And yeah, it was kind of, I was like, hmm, you know? But for those who are wondering, can it get better than the milliseconds mode? Yes, it can. There is more. Uh, you can sync it to your BPM. Uh, you can sync it to a frequency, and you can also sync it through MIDI. But what I want to do is go ahead and put it in uh, syncing to BPM mode right over here uh, in the grain section. So let's go ahead and hear that. All right, here we go. Now, if I remove, if I go to 4.1, uh, it's faint, but you can hear it smooth out the chops. So that's one utility. Here's the next one. You can hear it kind of pop and give a little bit of grains. You can hear the grains in there popping, which can be used for a texture filling. You can have overlap. And let's crank it up to 50%. Let's go half. All right, now, a lot of people are probably saying, Av, this doesn't really sound good at all. Well, true, it really doesn't. But there's something else that's very interesting before we even go through all the modes. Uh, you can choose to fade in, fade into the granular synthesis or the granular effect. Woof. Um, let's go ahead and do that. You see where it gets a little bit more interesting. Let's go to get rid of the skew a little bit. Hmm. 
Now, uh, now that we, and we play with that and you can start to hear some of the potential of it, uh, though it's still a little wonky. Um, let's go ahead and go to frequency mode. Oh, that's a little detail that I left out here. Uh, you could do dry and wet, so you can kind of uh, combine the dry or the original signal with the new signal, and then you get some interesting artifacts in between the two, depending on what you're doing. So let's go ahead and... Uh... Overlap. So let's go ahead and fast forward and talk about frame. So we have frame over here. This is a, a module that we're gonna check out. Let's go all the way wet. So with syncing the frame part uh, to one four and then the granular part, this is where you can see where things will get a little bit more musical. And this is very important to this free plugin kind of lesson, the granular effect, granular synthesis. Yeah, so let's go ahead and keep on exploring. You can do overlapping. Let's mix up frame. And now you can hear it chop up. And that's very important to what we got going on. Let's go ahead and fade in that. Go skew. Now let's go ahead and turn sync off and see what happens with the sample. All right, so the more appealing feature is probably sync on just because it syncs to your BPM, your tempo. So uh, you have the MIDI module and it's something that I haven't explored fully and don't really care about. I care about kind of just quick results. And as you can see, you know, I just really haven't figured it out and that's fine. I'm pretty sure there's more people that will find, figure it out for me. Uh, but you do have presets here. Let's go through the presets. The presets are, are far few between. Sounds like a robot. All right, I believe that's sync with MIDI. Modulator. And you can see it's not dookie at all, and that's actually pretty cool. Uh, what I would recommend if you were to use Grain Strain. I wouldn't use it on samples only. I would use it on anything uh, just to capture a different kind of appeal because in a sense, it's kind of like gross beat because gross beat is time manipulation and it does play with bits and grains just through a grid mode or a grid form. Uh, that's the way I would look at grain strain. So how do you feel about this video? I definitely want to hear from you guys in the comments section. Uh, Grain Strain, when I first looked at it, especially the UI, I thought, well, you know, it is a free plugin and it works in the MPC software. So, hey, you know, why not? 
And then when I played with it, the simplicity of the UI actually helped with the exploration. And it's very simple to understand. And you know, that brings a little bit more usefulness to anything that you own free or not. So uh, respectfully so, I, I think it's really good. Uh, check it out. <laughs> it's worth the download at least. And yeah, it's in the description box.